Hey everyone, welcome back. As you guys see in this video, we're gonna explain how to remove the pins from different connectors. And as you may know, we have already another video on the channel for removing the pins from the connectors. But on that video, I selected different range and different type of connectors, which were normally much uh, simpler than these connectors. As you see, we didn't have any connector like this on that video. I have tried to select different type of connectors for this video. The other difference is on that video, I just used this type of precision screwdriver to remove the pins from the connectors. So I explained in that video that for many connectors, you don't need to go for any pin removal tool. You can just select this one and go for removing the pin. And I showed you how to do it. But for some connector like this, there is no way that you can use the precision screwdriver to take these pins out of the connector. So that's why we need to go for some sort of pin removal tool uh, in case sometimes when you are removing some specific connectors. I have one set of pin removal tool right here. So as you see, uh, they are sometimes useful for removing the pins, but they are not made from a really good quality. And in some cases like uh, these connectors, we cannot easily use this type of pin removal tools to take the pin out of the connector. So that's why today I'm using another set of pin removal tool that you see right here. So there are 23 different type of tools for removing the pins out of the connector. And for example, if I compare this one, not only I have this part for releasing the locking tabs on the pin, but I can push the pin out of the connector as well using this one, which is much easier. But on the other one, I don't have that tool. So the quality is different. So instead of using this set of uh, pin removal tools, I'm gonna use this uh, new set of pin removal tools that I have here which is gonna give you all different type of pin removal tools for any different connectors. All right guys, let's start. I have different type of connectors in here. I'm gonna start by this ECM connector. So this is for ECM or engine control module. It looks really scary when you look at it. Uh, so many wires and it does have a cover over here. So we need to remove the cover at the first place. So for that, I'm gonna use one of these even pin removal tools for releasing the lock over here. And then I can slide this one out, just like this. So right now when you are trying to remove any pin, the first thing that you need to do is to have a look at the pins and connectors to find out how that pin is seated and is locked inside the connector. So as soon as you find out how that pin is locked into the connector, you can go for one of these pin removal tools uh, to release the locking tab and to remove the pin. So if you are looking at here, all the pins are here. So you see what I, whatever I have here, they are all pins. And the other small holes that I have just next to each pin, they are actually uh, how I can reach to the locking tab. So as soon as I remove one of those pins, you will see what I mean by uh, referring to the locking tab. So for example, if I grab one of these wires, just let's say for example, this yellow wire that I have here, I'm gonna go for one uh, pin removal tool, one which is suitable for here, and then grab the wire from the back. Okay, do not pull it really hard. Just grab the wire ready to take it out. So this is actually the pin and I can reach to the locking tab from there. So I'm gonna insert this one in there and just a small push and that's it. As you see, wire came out. What I did just right here, I selected the proper pin reward tool. I inserted it in and I lifted the locking tab up and I take the pin out. So that locking tab was seated just right here, all right? That locking tab was seated just right here, holding the pin inside the connectors. So the only thing I needed to do was inserting the pin removal tool, push it up, and then take the pin out. So this was actually the first pin removal tool that we tried. So if I'm gonna put this one back in, you just consider the location of the locking tab, push the pin in, all the way and you need to hear the click sound just like that and as you 
and as you see the wire is not coming out anymore it's already locked there so it's going to be very the same for all other different pins over here not very uh, complicated there is another connector over here so this one is a little complicated because it does have a cover at the top so for that the first thing we need to do is to just to remove this cover because this one is actually the covering all locking tabs i cannot reach to the locking tabs before taking this one out but removing this one needs a little attention so if i lift this one off from here i can reach to that from here okay okay as you see it already moved upward but it's not coming out you know why because as you see inside there is another lock in there holding that cover so i need to release that lock as well so that cover sits in two different positions so one of them there is another one right here if you can see it i need to release that one too there is another one here okay and just one more right here all good so as you see i already took it out so what i meant by two stops locking was one here one there so the first thing that you take out is just this one but as soon as this one moves up a little the second lock is actually going to hold the cover so you need to push this one in at the same time to up to release all of them all four of them they have two stops so right now you can see the pins for removing any pin the only thing you need is to find out the locking tab down there this is a locking tab as you see you release the locking tab and then you take the pin out so i'm gonna go for a proper pin removal tool in this case grab the wire from the back insert the pin removal tool release the locking tab just like this and pull the pin out as you see pin is going out you see it just like that so this is our pin and the locking tab was seated just right here so i inserted my tool i released the locking tab and i took the pin out so the third connector is kind of complicated so we have some set of pin removal tools over here for actually these round pins so you need to remember for these round pins the locking tabs are actually all around the pin externally so you need to grab something like this to insert it you need to find the proper size because they come in different sizes as you see and when you push it in the outer section is going to release the locking tab and then you can just pull the pin out just like this very carefully just be careful do not apply too much load because it's going to damage the pin itself so as you see if i go for this wire is already locked okay so what i need i grab the pin removal tool i just insert it just right here all right insert it carefully and then you can push the handle in at the same time take the wire out from here as this will see what i'm doing all right just like this so this is the pin so as you see the locking tabs are just all around the pin just like this so they are actually located right there so when you put the when you put this one around it from here it's gonna go over the pin all right it's gonna release the locking tabs and then you can take it out and when you push the handle in it's gonna just apply some force on the pin to push it out uh, I personally try not to do it. I try just to release the locking tab and take the pin out from the back because sometimes when you do it, it this pin is going to damage your pin inside the connector. Uh, we have another connector right here. Uh, this is not really complicated at the very first place, but this cover at the top, this one should be removed because when you look at it at the very first place, you don't see the locking tabs. So what you need to do, you need to grab this one and lift this white cover okay just like this the cover is lifted up all right so this one was covering all the locking tabs and if you look inside right now you see the locking tab just right there this is the locking tab you see it here we don't have any pin you can see the locking tab and how it moves this is the locking tab 
holding the pin inside the connector. So I'm gonna have to find the proper tool to uh, to release the locking tab to take the pin out. I'm gonna go for one wire, for example, this one, as you see, is already locked. I'm gonna grab the wire from the back and then insert the tool. Carefully release the locking tab. As you see, pin just came out and locking tab was seated just right here. There is another connector here, which doesn't look very complicated at the very first place. But if you look at it, this one does have two locking tabs. So I have two pins. As you see, I have only two wires and two pins. So one pin, two pins. So if you look at this one, this one has one locking tab on this side, the other one on the other side. So I can go for one of these pin removal tools, which is going to release two locking tabs at the very same time. So grab the wire from the back and then you insert this one over here. Or I'm, I'm, I normally hold it like that to make sure to manage it properly. So, so one here, the other one there. And then as soon as you release both locking tabs, your pin is gonna come out. So just like this. So as you see, I had one locking tab here one there so you need to insert this one just like that release the locking tabs and then take the pin out all good and the last one for today is something like this because when you look at it at the connector case you don't see any locking tabs you just see the pins so basically you need to slide the main connector out of the case because this one what you see here is actually the case the main connector is inside so I'm gonna release this lock in here and you can slide out the connector. So for this one, as you see, uh, when you take the case out, you see that the connector is not really complicated. The pins are here and this is the locking tab for this pin. So for example, I'm gonna have to grab the wire from here. I don't have anything, anything to do from this side of the connector. I just release the locking tab from here and it's not coming out because that tab is sitting over here. It does have two stops, one here, one there. I'm gonna have to release it from there as well. And yeah, there you go. We already removed the pin and it was the locking tab. This was the locking tab. You just need to push this one in to release the locking tab. This time the locking tab is on the pin, not on the connector. All right, guys, as you saw, we practice removing different type of connectors. You can watch the first episode of Pin Rewards on our channel. I put the link on the description. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to visit the channel page and subscribe the channel for more diagnostic videos.